my trusty Energizer headlamp torch has uh, started to die. Well, in fact, it's actually completely stopped now. Uh, what was happening is it was cycling through all the modes. So it's stuck on the red mode. And I thought, oh, maybe that's battery low warning. Um, so I put in fresh batteries twice and still the problem remains. Um, so as you can see, it's stuck on there, won't change with the button. It's supposed to cycle through the different modes. There's a high power, low power, and then red for night mode. And uh, yeah, it's just not responding. So what is this one? This is the HD4L3A4. Um, 2013 so yeah it's pretty old but it's been a really good really good head torch good nice strap comfortable to wear easy to adjust and pretty good brightness good light I think it's um, 200 lumens but uh, yeah we've tried new batteries and it hasn't got wet but I just noticed it was flashing in the box in the drawer and uh, yeah I just can't get it back working again so Something's happened to that. So I'm going to open it up and uh, we'll see if we can see anything obvious. By the way, I tried the obvious stuff, cleaned all the contacts using isopropyl alcohol. But no dice, as you can see, they're all nice and clean. And as mentioned, it didn't get wet. It's only really used sparingly. So uh, it's a bit odd, and it should be water resistant to a point anyway. So it looks like there's four screws at the back. Let's whip them out. The screws actually go straight through to the front plastic. So you can see there's the three and four screw holes. So it should just pop off now. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, some bits coming out. It's going to be fun. Okay, so we'll let us see what's going on. Hoping it comes out in one unit. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. So there's the inside. You can see where the screws go into the posts. What's this black thing here? Not quite sure what that is. Part of the switch, I think. Might go up there. There's the screws, nothing special. Just some crosshead screws. Little circuit board. Nice, neat design. So you've got your main LEDs there for the brightness and then the red one in the middle. Ah, what's happened here, look? Krusty. Krusty.com. So, it's interesting. Could that be the issue? Well, when I took the batteries out, they were perfectly fine. So, I'm not quite sure how that's happened. But we'll clean it off and we'll see what happens. It's actually come up here as well, onto the battery wire, I think. So, something has reacted there. Hmm. So I'll clean that off and we'll see what happens. Well the wires are still attached but what possibly has happened is behind the board some of that crustiness has possibly got onto a circuit. So I've cleaned it as best I can but the wire was you know, it's not, not broken or anything, it's still well attached. Um, I'm going to have to break these plastic welded standoffs, I think, to get the board out, which is a bit of a pain. Shame this does not a screw there to unscrew it. But there's a bit more evidence of crustiness in here, as you can see, just down in this corner and over there, actually. So even though this is regularly used, somewhere it started to pick up 
this horrible crustiness from the batteries which is really odd because they had no signs of leaking at all so yeah it's going to need a bit of a clean i'm going to have to break this post here and possibly those two as you can see it's stuck on there and then see what's behind and hopefully we can salvage it but just goes to show over time these things happen to a device like this and it just completely knackers it which is a shame anyway let's see what's behind by the way you can still see that the seal is intact here there it is rubber seal that goes right around so that's offering a bit of resistance to water ingress so when you close the battery compartment and clip it down with the clip that keeps everything all nice and dry and then of course this is a rubberized switch so that's also resistant to water so yeah it's fairly nicely made not heavy at all but in this case it looks like the battery uh, chemical has leaked in through the wire and uh, done some damage potentially Sadly, no damage found that I can see. So I might have to check voltages and stuff, but it could be that the microcontroller, which cycles through the modes, has been damaged. So, hmm, hoping to see something a bit more obvious, but that's where the crusty burger was. Doesn't look too bad on that track, it's quite a large one as well. Uh, that looks a bit naff. Give it a clean up and see what happens. Hmm, it all looks a little bit off. Not too bad, it's not too filthy. But there we go. So, I managed to get it working. So, what I've had to do is resolder this joint down here because that was the crusty one. That's not the prettiest uh, of joints, but it works. And the wire had also slightly come away here as I was fiddling so I've just soldered that one back on so that's the negative terminal and now we do have our modes it goes a bit trippy on the camera but night light I think that's full brightness low brightness and off and it seems to be working so it's just a case of putting it back together and that small rubber stopper just goes down there into that recess. No idea what it's for. Possibly just to support part of the board. Um, unless it's some sort of heat sink. Um, no, can't see what that's for. Maybe an optional extra. So, yeah, we'll have gone with that holders. Just there. But, mm, weird. Anyway, it's back in place. Okay, after quite a bit of jiggling, I've got the circuit board in and the battery compartment, and now it's just screwing it in. Okay, that's back in. Let's get our lovely juicy Wilco batteries in. And we'll see if it works. Make sure the gasket's in place. Close the lid. And let's have a look. Yes, sorted. There we go. So, battery issue. Cheers for now.